right, let's talk about the Las Vegas Raiders here for a little bit. There's been some Raiders news that's been sitting around for a couple days now that we've really been wanting to get into, but with the schedule release and a lot of other stuff, we haven't had a chance. But now that all of that silliness has passed, we can focus on something that happened recently that I think indicates what the Raiders are thinking, and Antonio Pierce specifically is thinking about the quarterback position in terms of the overall context of the team strategy. Let's get into the report, and then we'll talk about it more in detail on the other side, this is courtesy of Raiders today. Las Vegas Raiders coach Antonio Pierce has been high on quarterback Aiden O'Connell for some time now. Pierce reiterated his position on the quarterback battle between O'Connell and Gardner Minshew on Friday when he said Aiden's earned the right to go out there and get the first snap. Former Raiders pro bowler Marcel Reese, who knows the Raiders culture as well as anyone, believes there's more to it than Pierce believing O'Connell is the man for the job. I think it's not so much about Aiden and Garner, but more so about Antonio Pierce and the culture that he's trying to implement in that locker room, Rear said when he virtually joined up the uh, joined the Up and Adam show on Tuesday. Meaning it's not about how much money you make. It's not about what you've done in the past. What are you going to do here? Can you show me the work? And Garter Minshew hasn't put on that silver helmet yet, and that's something you always have to earn. Yeah, so I agree with Reese here. I think there's a couple facets to this. I think both are good signs for the Raiders in terms of quarterback position and overall culture building that Antonio Pierce is focusing on. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are. But first, Raiders fans, Raider Nation, in the comment section below, like I mentioned, the schedule has been released. So give us the one game, the one matchup you're looking forward to more than any other. Give us the game, the opponent, and the week. Let us know that matchup in the comment section below. But, Myers, give me your thoughts on this Raiders news and, and just what it means for this team going forward. Yeah, Nick, I, I think this is really a great approach to take to it. I do think that, you know, Antonio Pierce means what he says when he talks about, you know, he thinks that Aiden O'Connell has earned the right to take that first snap. And later on, Marcel Reese notably says, you know, Gardner Minshew hasn't earned anything yet. He just came to the team. You can't go off past merits. I think that's a good approach to take here. He has to earn his right to start if he is to be the starting quarterback. But I don't think he will be. I think Aiden O'Connell is the guy they go forward with, and I think he keeps it throughout this camp into the, at least the first game of the season. Because these are two guys in Pierce and O'Connell who really had to rely on each other last season. Both of them were thrust into the spotlight at the same time. Both of them were uh, you know, just put in very tough situations. O'Connell having to come in take over the team uh, later into the season where Pierce as well in the same vein, they both work together. I'm sure there's a bond that it's formed there as well. And I think that, you know, it's just a little bit of trust in each other. Like, Hey, we've both had our feet to the fire. We've both been put in really tough situations. What do you do there? You know, do you fold or do you get stronger? Do you get hard, more hard uh, and the iron analogy and are able to take on the challenges that are, Front in front of you. And I think that's kind of what happened. The two guys got thrown in the fire together. They both strengthened each other. And they're coming to this season. Just there's a bond between them. There's something special between O'Connell and Pierce. And I think they both embody that Raiders culture that Marcel Reese was talking about. So I like what's going on. I like the fact that, you know, they're not saying, oh, we bring in Gardner Minshew. It doesn't matter how much money we pay you. You still got to put on that helmet and show us that you earned it. Aiden O'Connell's done it. And that is why he is the guy right now. Yeah, we, we know who Garner Minshew is. I'm a fan of Minshew, right? As I'm sure a lot of people are. But we know he's a quality backup. That's what he's become. He showed that in Janksville. He showed that in Philly. He showed that last year with the Indianapolis Colts. That who he, that's who he is, right? He's not a quality top flight franchise quarterback starter in the National Football League. He's a really nice backup, a bridge guy at best. Best case scenario, he's a Ryan Fitzpatrick kind of guy. Journeyman who plays sometimes, puts us some cool highlights, but he's kind of wild and all over the place, right? Of course, with the turnovers mixed with the big plays. That's who Garner Minshew is. Highs and lows. Aiden O'Connell is the opposite, right? If you look at his last stretch of six games this past season, you look at the Chiefs, Vikings, Chargers, Chiefs against Colts, Denver Broncos. A grand total in those six games of one interception. Granted, small sample size, of course, right? Not a whole lot to go off there. But as Aiden O'Connell got more playing time, he was very even keeled. He took care of the football. He was able to distribute the ball to a number of playmakers. He managed the game well. I look at that victory in Kansas City where the Raiders 
basically won with their defense, but O'Connell made sure to not do anything disastrously awful to ruin it for their defense, and he managed the game pretty well in that situation. That's who Antonio Pierce wants to lead the show early on. He wants a guy who can manage the game, take care of the football, and when Devontae Adams is open, you hit Devontae Adams, right? When Brock Bowers or whoever is open, you hit Brock Bowers. When Mayer is open, you hit Mayer, right? When Jacoby Myers is open, you hit Myers, right? That's all he wants from the quarterback position because he's seen that work before. Pierce has won Super Bowls with Eli Manning leading an elite defense on the opposite side of the ball and Eli Manning just hitting the open guy when the opportunities were there, right? They won Super Bowls like that in New York. Antonio Pierce was there in New York. He understands that's a formula for success. And if Aiden O'Connell can grow into something even bigger than that, that's outstanding. But right now, my opinion, Aiden O'Connell is not just the favorite to win the starting quarterback. I think he's the only guy to win the starting job. He's the guy that can take care of the football. He's the guy that can allow the Raiders to live up to their talent because this is still a very talented team in some aspects. They've got some big holes, obviously, but they got a lot of big names. They got a lot of playmakers, certainly on offense. They should be able to put up a lot of points if they have consistent and steady quarterback play. And Aiden O'Connell proved towards the end of last season he can be that trigger man behind center. I'm excited to see that Antonio Pierce is sticking with and leaning on Aiden O'Connell to be the starter day one. I think you can have Gardner Minshew push him a little bit. I don't like the idea of Minshew starting personally for this Raiders team. I think you go with O'Connell, see if he continue that even keelness, right? If he can be that guy all season long, if he can be that guy all season long, the Raiders may make the playoffs. Who knows? Because they've still got they got some guys on offense and some guys on defense. But give him that opportunity because if he can be that guy, you may have your franchise quarterback. And guess what? Worst case scenario, if he's not – you reevaluate quarterback in 2025. So I love the fact that the Raiders so far with Antonio Pierce seem to be sticking with Aiden O'Connell as our starting quarterback. It's the right move to make, and it's both for the short term and the long term.